What's going on everybody? And welcome to the first video on my new Wicked Wednesday Halloween series where each Wednesday I'll be putting out a new video of a Halloween spooky themed build. And today we're starting with Dark Castle from Real Life. This is it right here. It's a cool looking little build. These are like little shadow boxes. You see on the back they have different versions. Of course we're doing the creepy Dark Castle one here. These are for putting on like a desk or maybe on a mantle. And they have a little drawer in the bottom to store some things in. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this coffin open. I mean box. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This is the Dark Castle from Rowlife, also known as Robotime and Roker, the same company. This is the Secret Garden series, and they have multiple ones here, as you can see on the back. Uh, but we're going with the creepy Dark Castle one because this is Wicked Wednesday, and uh, we're celebrating the haunt month all month long and uh yeah this one's really cool looking we got like the little ghost there a little graveyard scene i don't know if it's like a grave digger or something you can see the shovel and some bones in this crate we got our little black cat over here uh, this is ages uh 14 and up has led lights yeah if uh, you look here you have to get uh two of the CR2032 batteries, I went to the store and I picked up a pack of those uh, specifically for this build because I didn't have any. Uh, a lot of people don't have those kind of batteries just in stock, so you will need uh, two of those uh, type of batteries. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what we got inside. All right, we've got our manual here. Looks like we have the uh, the battery box, the control switch here with the light. We have multiple pieces here and some tools, a screwdriver, plastic tweezers, uh, whatever this is. It looks like a ballpoint pen. Interesting. We have uh, some glue here. Now, this is going to be a slow drying glue, so if you want to put this together quicker and not have to wait around, I would definitely suggest using a super glue, CA glue, uh, to dry fast, and that's what I'll be doing. Looks like we have our little pack of boards here with our pieces in that have to be punched out. And here we have border. No, this is like cardstock. These pieces are like cardstock, so they're thinner. Look how nice those look, though, huh? And we have the a piece of plastic here. I think this is the front because it does uh, enclose. And then uh, just a piece of cardboard in the bottom. I don't know if we need that or not, but I'll take it out. That's everything in the box, so let's go ahead and get rid of this box. Ooh, nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that manual. Here we go. Let's just take a look inside real quick. Now, these all kind of go together. If you've ever built like a book nook or anything like that, this is kind of the same, uh, just a little smaller. You do have paper pieces that you will cut out. Uh, this is probably like the grass on the bottom or something. And uh, so we'll cut this one out and this piece. A red line around it, that means those are extra. So these are the same as these, in case you mess something up. And then these are some of our pieces we'll be using here. And uh, I think we're going to be starting here on building the crate. That's kind of cool. Got the little bird and skeleton and stuff on it. Anyways, we'll just work our way through until we got it all done. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys there we go we are all done with the night specter uh dark castle i'm not sure why they call it dark castle it's not a castle but here it is you're gonna get a lot of glare because we have the glass on there but uh we'll try to get it the best we can very cool man i really like this is pretty neat look how small it is so it's perfect to sit maybe even on your nightstand it has a little drawer here you can pull out Maybe put your rings in there at night or something when you're going to bed. Uh, really cool. Really, really cool. Now on the back is a little thing here. You turn it and that unlocks this. You flip it open and right inside there is your switch. I'm going to push it up and now the light is on. So when I turn it back around, the light will be on. And there we go. It's all lit up inside now. How cool is that? I really, really like this. This is pretty neat. Check that out. Perfect to display for Halloween. Really cool, man. I love it. 
I like the size of it and everything. I mean, it's, it's not, it really isn't that big. Look how big my hand is uh, compared to my hand. I like how the light makes the trees cast a shadow in the background. There's a lot going on inside there. I like the little kitty cat here. Got a little skull back there. Very creepy, very cool. I really like this one a lot, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. Do you like this one? Uh, I think it's really cool. I'll leave a link to this one in the uh, description. If I can find the link to it, I'll, I'll leave it uh, in the description down below. And I'll uh, pin it in the comment section. Uh, very cool, though. Uh, first build here on Wicked Wednesday. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Stroll over there and hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Tree Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.